Hi, let's discuss RESPA. Fair Credit and Lending Laws. RESPA. Another type of Consumer Protective Act is the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, known as RESPA. RESPA was passed by Congress in 1974. It was created because various companies associated with the real estate transactions, such as lenders and real estate agents, We're engaging in providing undisclosed kickbacks to each other, causing the cost of the transaction to increase for the consumer. Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, RESPA. The Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, known as RESPA, was created to control increasing loan costs for consumers caused by companies engaging in undisclosed kickbacks. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau administers and enforces RESPA. RESPA applies to real estate closings involving a standard home mortgage loan from a from a financial institution or a mortgage banker. In 2010, Congress passed the Dodd-Frank Act, which established the CFPB. The CFPB is authorized to issue regulations under the Truth and Savings Act, Funds Availability Act, Equal Credit Opportunity Act, and Truth and Lending Act, called the TILA RESPA Integrated Disclosure Rule, or TRID. It consolidated consumer protection agencies under CFPB to simplify oversight and compliance. Now required under TRID are the timely issuance of a consumer booklet, a loan estimate, and a closing disclosure. Consumer booklet. RESPA requires that the borrower be provided a booklet of information regarding closing costs by the financial institution or mortgage broker. This must be provided to the borrower at the time a written application is taken or no later than three business days after application is received. If the application is denied, before the end of the three-day period. The institution does not have to su supply the booklet. The booklet is called Your Home Loan Toolkit and is published by the CFPB.
Loan Estimate. RESPA also requires that no later than the third business day after the submission of a loan application, the borrower is provided with a loan estimate which discloses key features, costs, and risks of the mortgage loan for which the person has applied. Closing Disclosure A closing disclosure form must be provided to the borrower within three business days before the loan closing. This form details all the costs associated with the closing, including lender fees, real estate agent commissions, title closing fees, APR, and monies prorated between the buyer and the seller. RESPA applies to all federally related mortgage loans for the purchase of one to four family structures, manufactured homes using proceeds of a loan, with the loan made by a lender, creditor, or dealer, made by or insured by an agency of the federal government made in connection with the federal housing program made by and intended to be sold by a lender to FNMA, GNMA, or FHLNC subject of a home equity conversion mortgage, and made by a lender, dealer, or creditor to be used to fund an installment sales contract, land contract, or contract for deed. Kickbacks. RESPA prohibits kickbacks, also called fee splitting or unearned fees, to a lender from vendors of closing related services. Mortgage brokers can only pay other mortgage brokers a referral fee. Real estate licensees can only pay other real estate licensees a referral fee. And title companies may not pay a referral fee or give something of value in return for referring the business. Kickbacks. The oversight of undisclosed kickbacks have really tightened in the industry in recent years. When I first practiced real estate, it was common for a mortgage company or title company to provide agents with all types of marketing equipment, office supplies, and open house supplies. Today, any of those types of things may be deemed something of value and triggers disclosures. Be sure to coordinate with your broker about how to interact with other professionals.